So yay, we're finally ready to paint our pumpkins and I'm doing those in a dull orange initially and then I'm gonna put brighter shades on top. So you always wanna think about layers when you're painting with acrylics. And then also we wanna use some of the colors. We wanna kind of sprinkle the colors from the pumpkins in the background and that's just gonna create more color harmony for us. So there I'm doing a little bit of shading on the pumpkins. And I'm showing you my plate there, what I'm mixing. I'm gonna talk about those specific color mixes um, in, in a separate file for you. I explain my color mixes. And um, yeah, if you go to that file, it's usually before the video, you'll see exactly what colors I used to mix. However, I just wanna say, um, this is the kind of lesson where you wanna experiment and try different mixes of colors. It's just dabs of color that you're laying on top of each other. So, you know, why not? You can always paint over it. So yes, it's just a matter of layering in more colors. And of course, we are finally putting in those pumpkins on the ground. And as you can see, I drew them in with a lighter yellow so that I could see what I was doing. And you know, you're gonna change the values and, and streaks in those pumpkins as you go. It's just a matter of you know, seeing how you like it. Ultimately, when I was done with this, I realized those pumpkins were too light. So off camera, I made them darker. And, and that's okay, sometimes we don't see things till the very end. I usually take a picture and decide what I need to do. And so you want to make sure you bring around your colors around the edges. Um, let's see what else. It's really just a matter of stepping back, seeing what it needs. The whole idea is to make those pumpkins in the truck and the truck itself. You want that to pop the most. So be careful not to make your background trees too vivid. You don't want that to fight. And also the sky. You don't want that sky to be too bright blue. So those are some more things that I did at the very end off camera, unfortunately. I didn't have the camera going. Um, I made my green truck a little greener and I made the sky a little bit duller by adding more burnt sienna into white and uh, phthalo blue. So that's it. I really had a lot of fun with this one. It is slightly different from my original, but that's okay. I think every time you paint another version of a painting, it's going to be different. So I learned a lot from this. I, I learned that uh, to me, fall colors are more of the warm browns. I had a lot of pinks in there and that was just a little bit too much for me. Um, so I went back to using more golden colors and um, I used the raw siennas and the burnt siennas for that. So I hope you enjoy this one. And that's it about all I can think of. I also added in those mirrors. I didn't mention that. Um, really just draw two circles and attach it to the truck. Um, you know, look at, look at some photos of some chrome mirrors and you'll get an idea of what to do.